Yep. Back out. Again. Oh, dear. It's humid today. Very humid. What does it say? It's close. What? What's close? It's close. <laughs> what is? I'll tell you what is. The heat. The heat is close. Southerly wind, you see. So it brings all the warm air. Anyway, we're out in the Cheviots. Heading up into the hills. Friday night. It's quite late. It's 20 past five. Got about an hour and a bit walking. And then we'll let's see if we can get set up. Meant to be really windy. But it's not down here. I'm knackered. Right. Let's see how it goes anyway. Two miles in, oh, I'm sweating. It's just a slight breeze here. Whew. Lots of flies. <sighs> Basically, ran along the path there. It took us, it was about 22 minutes to do two mile. There's this big backpack that I need to slow down like. Burn out. Especially in this heat. Too much, too much monster energy. I had a can before I came. <laughs> I'll just crash and burn shortly. Whoo! Anyway, nice, nice night. It's not forecast rain tonight. Cloudy, but no rain. Depends. Depends how windy it is, doesn't it? can bring rain clouds, the wind's uh, strong. So they find it hard to predict when it's windy. But look, blue sky, everything. That's the east coast over there. I'll be going there tomorrow in the van. It's nasty weather forecast tomorrow. It's good, the van. Got, um, if you look on the other channel, Andy's camper van, I'm gonna be putting um, my cupboard in this week. Just got delivered just as I was heading out the door today. I thought I uh, could really use it. But uh, nah, I'll do it through the week and then I won't rush it. Look at this. This is Shill Moor up here. I was up there last week. I couldn't stand up. Last Saturday, just came for a walk. Must have been 50 mile an hour wind up there. It was horrendous. I couldn't stand up. I was getting blown off. I'll put a clip up if I can find it. If there's no clip, I'll delete it. Alright, nice, so anyway, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I'm following the map here. I've actually got a paper map this time. It's much easier to orient yourself with the paper map. The phone maps are good, but the, the turn, you turn around and the map turns with you. So you're not actually heading the way that you're looking. Oh, the flies are terrible. Right, I'm turning off because it's bugging us. We'll be back shortly. <sighs> I'm knackered. Can it walk in? Four miles. All along that road there. Down the road. That's the easy bit. You get to here. Just up straight up the front of it. There's a couple of steep bits. I'm on one of them steep bits now. But... The top is just up there. There's loads of flies around. They need to buzz off. <laughs> Hopefully there's a bit of breeze up here. Still sheltered. Oh, it is steep. It's so warm though. Heat's not helping. So I find everything to complain about, don't I? Complain if it's windy. Complain if there's no wind, complain if it's raining, complain if it's, complain if it's too sunny, too steep, not steep enough, too flat. I'm just a mourner. There's a song about me. It's 
called Cantankerous Old. Four and a bit miles, 4.7 miles of height. And I'm now at the top of High Cantle. Low Cantle is that way, across that to get here. And then 482 meters, I think. Look at it though. Let's have a 360. Look at this. It's bleak and it's remote, which is what you want. That's Shill Moor. That's the one I was on about. I was up there last week at Blan about. <sighs> Done a fair bit of hiking around here. Over there, over that way, is Cushet Law. Um, and a windy guile is over that way somewhere as well. I'm not quite sure. I can't really see. The sun's right in my eye. But we've got me got me a little breeze coming from um well, that's coming from the southeast maybe. So I've got to find a spot here, it's a bit lumpy. But I'll find somewhere. If it if it's um lumpy like this, but you stand on it, right? And if it goes down, it's like not boulders. It can't actually help and be nice and comfy. Nice and soft and spongy. I think this might be this might be the spot here, this area here. Right, so I'm gonna get the get the tent up. And then I'm choking for a pint. It's five to seven. This is this is a late one. This this is the joy of the uh, the late nights, isn't it? Oh yeah. Hey, I tell you what it is. That's worth the hike. That oh, look at that. Hey, I've never been up here before. I've been over there, but I've never seen over there from over here if you know what I mean and it's mad it's wild look at all the the um, big crevasses what they're called they're like landslides or earthquakes <laughs> don't know what causes them hey it's bleak here like I love it so tomorrow in the morning I think I'm gonna go instead of going back the way I came I'm gonna head over the hills go over the, there's a couple of hills here on the way down to the waterfall and then back to the car, so it's a big loop. Four four miles loop. Might as well, got nothing else to do tomorrow. Make, a, make the most of it, have a nice walk. And then go and find somewhere to pitch up. Go for another walk. And then I'll post, um, I'll do a little bit of filming in the van and that tomorrow for the other channel, you know. Keep the, keep the channels going. Just gives me something to do as well. I get, I get a bit, uh, I get restless and fidgety. I like to edit and muck about. Right, I'm gonna get set up and get a crack of beer. I might actually have a beer before I set up. Just sit here and chill out. I'm just drying that top off, it's soaking. That's what I said last time, isn't it? Yeah, get a dry t-shirt, straight away change into that. Because you start getting cold, your back gets cold if it's sweaty. There's the wind blowing on it. And get, that's how you get, uh, that's how you get diseases. <laughs> That's how you get chills. Here we go. It is up. A little bit of a breeze picked up now, but look at that. Solid. Overlooking that valley. The Bremish Valley, maybe. Not 100%. But yeah, it's up again. Easy. Got the footprint on as well this time. You just lay the footprint out. Right, so underneath there, just lay that out, peg it out, put the inner on top of it, use the same pegs, and then with your back to the wind, just throw that over, like right, put the poles in, and then throw that over, it just it just went on, it just clamped on straight away, took shape. Use the wind to your advantage. That's what I did. Nice and roomy in there. Just me. Get all my crap in. Oh. Yeah, that wind's picking up now. It's supposed to be, uh, it's gonna be supposed to be like hitting 36 mile an hour later. So, you know, good little tester. If it fails, it fails. Can't see it though. It's rock solid. I've had flappier tents out in in weather, wild weather, and it's been alright. Not sure what's going on. That's the vent. It's because I've got the vent out. But yeah, definitely three season. They say it's a four season tent, but no, 
not with that gap. Unless I haven't worked out a way to drop that. No, we'll find out. Anyway, gonna stick all my gear in and then just sit, take all this in. Look at it, man. Look at it. Just the sheep for company. Love it. <laughs> flies, a few flies as well. Right, well, I'm all set up in here. Got the uh, thermo rest. I need, to, I need to get a new summer mat. Like this is, this is like a winter the R rating of four. Isn't it? It's so small and compact, though. It's dead good. It's dead easy to carry around. Anyway, pillows at the top there. I got the Rab summer bag. Um, and backpacks down there. Look down the side. So there's that space in the middle there. I brought Ridge Monkey. Actually paid for that. I bought that. <laughs> one, of the, one of the few things I've bought. You guys, my little radio still going. That's playing well. That's picking up the good station up here. Mind you, think there's nothing really to stop the um, signal getting through. Is a quite exposed few beers. I'm loving this Thatcher's Blood Orange Cider, mind. Just the one because it gives us heartburn. Heathen, Faith, Bruce Forsyth, and a good old Hazy Gin, pint can, well, 500, 500 mil can. Oh, water, plenty of water, litre and a half. I've got this. I don't think I'm going to need it because of the breeze. Oh, you bugger, dropped it. The hanged one, but I'll be using it. Um, the battery, the, the magnets fell out again. Apparently this happened in the factory and they glued it in, but it's, it's in the van, it's somewhere in the van. I'll stick it in again, it'll be all right. I've got the um, burgers. I'm wearing the burgers now, it's just burgers all the time in it, so I don't think I'll be showing the cooking of the burgers. We'll have a look on the map where I came, the route I took. A bit. Down jacket just in case the chill. And there it is. <laughs> it's nice. I like that tent. It's a bit cozy inside. Just sitting in the doorway there. Right? Didn't, didn't even feel this wind. That's quite windy here. Yeah, like. Take a reading shortly. Can't get enough of this view. See if there wasn't any midges, this would be a good place to camp down here. And there's a valley down by the river. You know, it looks familiar. I'm sure I've I'm sure I've walked through that valley before. I'm sure of it. I can't remember. I know that's Kidland Forest over there. I don't know, I don't know. I'm confused. Alright. So we're just gonna sit and chill out now, right? Let's have a look over here first. See so how this tent blends in. It's a, uh, that's one of the things I, I like about it is it really blends into this, especially the cheviots. Just disappears in into the um, into the grass. The colour, colour's the same as the grass. I mean, I know you can see it, but if you if you were like. A couple hundred yards away, you wouldn't. Good. Look at it not moving. And it is quite breezy. Yes. Bring it on. Bring it. So we didn't have such a such a hard walk in. I mean, it's four miles still. We parked here at Hartside, and we walked along this path here now hold on we'll walk down here and then up this path here past Megarum's Knoll Snout End <laughs> past Snuffy's Scar don't know what the scar was it was just a load of uh, ferns to the sheepfold there and the path takes you along there right enough but there is on there, if you can just swing it out, it's like a quad track, but it looks quite well worn. So I just followed that up onto Low Cantle, 
and then just continued on to high cantle yeah and then tomorrow I'll go from here across to this one rig can it has, it's, it's not actually I don't, know, I don't know what the name of it is rig can and then along here around the back of Rideau Hill and down to lin up the waterfalls around here oh there's the waterfall there La oh, lip spout is up here yeah that's it that might take a detour it's not much of a it's not much of a walk off and then come back on the road all the way along here to heart side so yeah so from there to there is four miles four and a bit miles oh, just looking all this here Ingram's Bruffalo, this is the one, this is the Roman age, the Roman Bronze Age burial chamber, tomb, castle. That's the one I was on through the week, that Wednesday when I went out, when I was working up the road. That's that one there, Bruffalo, so it's not far away. Ingram. I mean, if you know this area, just don't be daft about it, you know, if you come in here, just don't have fires and barbecues and all the rest of it. I'm sure you won't. But when I pulled up at Heartside, there was two cars full of young lads, all had the tops off, music, boom, 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 and they're all heading towards the up. And I thought, yeah, there they, there they go. Give them the benefit of the doubt and hope that they don't wreck the place, but you know. There's a hedgeful pill over there, hedge up. Camp on that one. Comb fell. Right, I'm gonna have another beer. And then get my tea on. Oh, it's really picking up. So I'm sitting in the porch here, facing this way, cause uh, that's down in a, in like a delve. So it's really hard. To, it's hard to sit up in there. Here's the Ridge Monkey though. The Ridge Monkey Compact. You just sit it on there. Yeah, just warm both sides up. Don't get it too mad. Um, when you put the burgers in, you just put them in. You don't need um, oil or anything, really. I made some last week, and the fat from the burgers just runs about. So you've got to be careful; it doesn't come out and drip, because it can do. Other than that, it's really good. So we'll just let this warm up, and then we'll come back with the burgers in, and then then we'll go from there, because. You know, it's all been done before. Just wanted to show off the Ridge Monkey, my new thing. So just put them in, just screw them in, close the lid. I'll keep hold of it because it's not very steady. Um, and then basically just keep turning it. Just give it a turn. I'm going to leave it now because that was just for demonstration purposes. Right, we'll come back when we are getting there right then so I've been at it ah the lids are stuck <laughs> wait you get the picture you get the picture ah right I'll leave I'll edit that out just put that lid on there so cook the burgers right put the cheese on in the lids and hide the buns in there and just clip it together and that's your Northern Ridge Monkey. Or Blade Knight Northern Ridge Monkeys. Yeah. Like... Right. So I'm just gonna let them cook through. Them buns will be a bit toasted, um, blah blah blah, etc. etc. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You will care. I'll make you care. the plot. And that's it. Sun's gone down. Sun's gone down. The uh, I've just been looking at the forecast there. Wind's meant to be um, at 8 o'clock, between 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock, it was meant to be like 9 miles an hour wind. Which, to be fair, it is. There's no wind at the minute. 
maximum is like 10 mile an hour, which is an out. But at 10 o'clock, it's meant to get 46. <laughs> 46 mile an hour winds, oh my God. So we will see if it can take it. If it picks up, I can feel it. It's, uh, it's like that Phil Collins song, isn't it? You can't hurry, love. <laughs> I can feel it coming in the air. I can. It's got, um, you can see the haze coming over from the coast. Not that haze. The sea haze. The, the frog. The frog. But anyway, we're going to see what this tent can handle because 46 mile an hour, even in the solo, is sketchy and it's not pleasant. <laughs> oh God, bloody hell. What have I got myself into here? I can feel it picking up like. So anyway, I've enjoyed it, you know what I mean? been good so far I've enjoyed my life <laughs> I've never seen again you get blown away over that way I mean that's a long way to fly isn't it before you land so at least I'll go out enjoying myself I'll parachute so far and then just drop into that valley but that that initial jump that'll be good it's the landing I won't enjoy right. but yeah sunset died of death didn't it wasn't bad, wasn't bad. So I've worked out that that's Hedge Hope. This is the Cheviot, this big long, because the Cheviot gone on forever. Right in the distance there. There's a few fellas in front of it, but they, had, they haven't got names. They, they're not really named. Comb Fell is this one here. Comb or Coom, however you want to say it. Obviously Shill Moor. Um, Oh, I had the name of that one. Oh, I can't remember the name of that one. I've seen it last week when I was walking. And right, random ones. Crush it low. Bloody bush edges. The far end of them trees. That bloody bush edge when I camped there was the worst camp ever. I might as well have camped in a river. Anyway, enough ramblings, right? We're going to come back when it's wild. Hopefully the weather forecast's wrong, but this was the MWIS, and they're very rarely wrong. But the good thing is, is where the wind's going to come from the same direction, so it's going to hit the back of the tent. So it'll hit that. I mean, it's quite streamlined, isn't it? It is a wind shedder. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to guide out. Well, I've got I've got delta pegs in on the guy lanes. And these, I've got like double peg there, see? Crossover pegs. These are all bashed in well. So it should be alright. Might just flap about a bit, you know, but we'll see. We will see. Be a good test. And if it survives, I'm going to buy another one. All you can hear is the sounds of nature. Why do sheep sound like they're being strangled by the, the Cheviot Strangler? <laughs> they're crazy. Honestly, maybe they are. Oh, it's, I've got a, uh, it's kind of heathen. I don't think I'm going to drink this. Thatchers. I'll keep that for tomorrow. Oh, I'm tired. Hey, another busy busy week at work. Uh, next week's gonna be busy again, but oh, it's all right. It's all right. You got the Friday and Saturday escape escape times. I tell you what, it's it's great. I'm not van because tomorrow is gonna be thunder and lightning. Thunderstorms is not good in a tent like. 
it's not recommended. They tell you to get out the tent. You get out the tent and make yourself small in the ground. You just like crouch into, crouch into a ball on the ground outside the tent. Don't be in it. Because um, the poles can take a ground in and also you're on the ground on a um, ground. I don't know, there's a reason, there's a reason why you're not meant to be in the tent. I'm sure it's something to do with the poles. And if the lightning hits, it'll it'll go for the poles. But if you're out in the open, you've got more chance of survival, even if it's chucking it down with rain. That's the theory. That's what they tell you to do. It's hard dragging yourself out of a nice warm tent, isn't it, though, to stand out in the rain. But if it saves your life, you'll thank us. So anyway, I'm just listening to the rest of the Radio 6. Um, that's it, really. No, nothing. Just the sounds of nature. And the sheep being strangled. in the morning right Let's see how this weather it, this this wind still hasn't turned up it's 10 o'clock now it still hasn't turned up the wind it's meant to be here now I don't know if the forecasters have got it wrong or it's just a bit delayed I mean it's picked up a bit from when I first arrived but it's now like 46 mile an hour be lucky it's 15 in fact 10 10 mile an hour I'll say this wind <clears throat> Let's hope it doesn't get too wild. Well, anyway, I'll let you down in the morning. I'll get on. I mean, if it does pick up in the middle of the night and it gets wild and that, we'll come back. And we'll film the... Uh, we'll film the carnage. Carnage. And the chaos. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh, ooh. While I'm in, I'm going to bed. This is what I mean about this light. Look how cozy it is in here. It's that cozy, right? And it's got to be cozy because a million flies can be wrong. Ugh, get out, get out. I'm going to have to shut this mesh. I don't like shutting the mesh. I like to have the freedom of the open door. But there's too many things flitting about. And they're not, um, they're not midges, so I don't think that's, this repels moths. It's moths, basically. What do you call a female moth? A myth. You can have that one. Take that to the bank. Right. As a wise man once said, it's time for bed. The time has come, the walrus said. To think of many things, of ships and shoes and sealing wax and cabbages and kings. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. All I do know is it's casting a really nice glow. Hanged one. <laughs> now I'm gonna put the radio on for half an hour and then I'll just kind of kip. So we'll see you in the morning. Heidi High Company's wind's not picked up yet. arrived coming that way it's changed direction it's getting these tag points here it's tight like
26 mile an hour. 26 mile an hour wind. Yeah. Recording that. Twenty-six is not nice. Problem being, it's coming the wrong way now, isn't it? It's hitting it side on instead of from the back. It's turned a little bit. Moon. It's all right, though, isn't it? Look. Uh, Twenty-six point six. Geordies, Scousers, Mackhams, Scotsmen, Welshmen, Irishmen, worldwide people. Started something there, didn't it? <laughs> oh, look at it. It survived. Hey, that's put up with a lot of wind last night. Look at that. It hasn't moved. It's not out of shape or anything. Guy lanes are all still tight. I'm highly impressed. 32 mile an hour, I recorded. 32 mile an hour is a big wind gust, you know. It's never budged. Yes, I'm very impressed. That's passed the wind test. Ah, oh, yeah, missed the sunrise because I was up in the middle of the night, wasn't I? Two o'clock in the morning when the wind picked up. That's when I went out to check it, just to make sure it was all still tight in that, which it was. Don't know why I was bothered. Missed the sunrise there. Yeah, that probably wasn't really that good because it's a bit hazy in it. But I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then pack away and head that way. There's the gate there. I was just looking last night at the paths that way. That'll take us back to the van that way, but down a different route. I fancy doing it like because it's over a couple of more hills. And I've got all day to be fair, so there's no panic. Right, I'm gonna get everything oh, sorted out, do a bit of admin, because it's a mess in there. <laughs> Can't really show you the mess. I chucked the sleeping bag off last night because it's so hot. That's just not the bag, it's just the, the temperature. Look at that, man. What a state. How can I sleep in that? It's like a homeless area. Homeless shelter for the homelesses. Right, we'll crack on, we'll come back later. There you go, usual crack. I've had a sweep around, nothing left, no pegs. Oh, there was a delta peg over there. Must have just got uh, knocked about, so I got that. See, I do like a sweep all the way around. Because you never know what the wind's taking. I've had a look down there, nothing. Zero. It's a bit of flat grass. Not the best pitch, but it was all right. It was comfortable enough. Slept all right. Eventually, when the wind got uh, out my head, oh, it was wild. It was wild last night. Like, uh, I'm glad that tent put up with it though. I wonder what it could take. Maybe it's, I'd pray like 40, 45 mile an hour wind. It would be all right in that. Because that was 32 last night, and it wasn't. I, I didn't have any reason to think that it was going to fail. It was 32, so 40, 40, 45. You might start getting a bit, a little bit tense. Tense. That was unintentional. Hey, hey, man. It's not, it's only, it's not even eight o'clock, and I've got the jokes. Right, so I've got to get over there. 
I'm just following the map. There's no path across. Oh, I'm just gonna have to bash my way across. So we will see you on the next one. Unless anything amazing happens on the way down here. I'll see you on the next one. All right, we've just gotta go across here now. I need to be over there. Oh, it's hard to walk on this. What they're called, moguls. And there is a storm brewing. According to the weather, there's a storm coming, thunder, lightning, all sorts. So if you're going out camping tonight, I don't think I'll bother. It's very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. A bit scary as well. I've camped in a lightning storm before and it's frightening, man. So you've just got no control over what's going on. I put a video, there's a video online of me sat in a tent during a uh, lightning storm. I think it's just called that. Riding out the storm. One helm crag. It was very tense. Here's the joke again. Boring now. Right, there's a style. Harry, I like to see, there's Harry. So I can cross that, check the map, and then head that way. See what comes out. All right, I'll catch up with you later. Well, I'm back. I'm back. I can't keep it away. What a journey that was. I've come from right over there in the distance and then beyond. And um, I was looking on the map and there's like a green dotted line, which is the path here. So I followed that and then just run out and there was nothing. Um, and then I saw a quad track, but I looked on the GPS and the quad track was taking us over there. And the path was down this way. I was on the green line, I was actually on the path, but it was in the middle of um, loads of heather and just, if it was raining, it would be boggy as hell because there's loads of cotton grass. So there's no path, like, didn't exist. But I've decided I'm gonna go up here, up to Ritto Hill, just to have a look. Might as well, while I'm passing by. Be a sin not to go up a hill if you pass it. I'm gonna have a shifty and see if I can uh, locate a camping pitch up there as well, because it looks like quite a quite a um, good vantage point. Come back at the top, eh? And then we'll finish. Good, this. It's adventurous. This is it. The top of a Ritto Hill. Oh, I'm not sure you'd camp here. Your bivy bag maybe down here. Tent maybe there. Look at the views though. That's the way I went yesterday, see that? Um, that wiggly right line up there, that's, that's what takes it with a low cantle and then across the high cantle. And then I've come back all the way down there. Across there though, not that path. Down through the track, the quad track, I don't know if you can see it, through the gate. And then up here, from the gate I should have went that way. And onto the path and then down. So I'll have to pick that up, I'll have to go back down. But there's no path up here, it's mad. I'm not sure you're meant to be here. <laughs> it's all fenced off and uh, there's no path, it's not on the map. Maybe I'm not meant to be here. Anyway, we're gonna end it there, cause that's it, I've waffled on too long. So that's it from the lovely Cheviots. I've seen one person just this morning, fella walking up there, he's walking the way I was coming back. He too lost the path, so it wasn't just me. So we'll see you for the next camp, whenever, wherever. As Placido Domingo once said, I'll be waiting for you. No, I'll be there for you, if you want me to. I don't know, these are getting silly, aren't they?